Great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the UNLV running Rebels and the Princeton Tigers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favor. The Tigers should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, make sure you eat up the boards. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Great play to take that to the basket. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Buchanan receives the ball from the top of the circle. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Intercepted. And now they'll bring it up. The skip pass is picked off. And again, they look to run. And up. And sinks the shot. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to feed the low block. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Nelson picks up the foul. First personal foul. Gave it up. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Chandler pump fakes. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. They go into the low block. He makes a nice shot fake. Fakes a jumper. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Number 10 comes up with it. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. There's the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Top of the circle, drains it. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building.
He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very keys to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, blah, blah. That's a high post screen. Goes for the lane. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Basket falls despite the contact. Our three prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Down inside, the power forward handles the pass. There's the trap. He strips him clean. Looking for a good shot. Nelson handles the feed on the outside. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. He tries the three. Buried it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Steal. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Gave it up. He takes the three. Scorches the net. Pressure's getting to him. And a momentary look from three-point land from the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Good job defensively. Chandler receives the pass. Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Launches away. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Number four is feeling good. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. The running Rebels have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Look at that spacing. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Up fake. He intercepts it. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. For two, perfectly executed. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Chandler makes the finger roll. Move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From downtown, he gets that one to fall. Kick it back outside. Fakes the shot. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. There's the screen up on top. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, down here on the sideline, shock has set into the arena. The coaches, the teams, and the fans can't believe what's going on. Thanks, Aaron. Pump fakes. Turnaround jumper. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They'll work it around the arc. 
The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. And the ball goes out of bounds. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Princeton are on a nice little run at the moment. They got to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Off the rim and no good. The ball goes out of play. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. The shot from the baseline. He might be on his way to a oh, career God. game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Let's it fly. Way off target. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. UNLV are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. High post screen, going to use it. Time to pick up the defense here now. Gets it to go. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts it up. Drains the shot. Outside jumper. It's good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. A high screen. Tries for two. For the bucket. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. You got a chance really to win. Up and inside. He tries the three ball. He drains the bucket. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Makes it. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. In the paint. Here's a double team. Shoots it. Goes in. Opportunity for two for one. He shoots from left of the circle, drains it. Stolen away, shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the high screen. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. We'll take the shot off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. For three, way off target. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are ahead by five. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Princeton did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys have given too much time to shoot, if you ask me. They basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of times, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. There's the trap. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Length of the floor. He dials long distance. Sinks it. Tries for two. Oh, yes.
College basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Yep. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. That was nice. Gave it up. Got a wide open look. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. On the dribble, gives it up. He blocks the shot, and the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Hard foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. It's crazy in here, Brad. For the bucket, perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Easy one. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. High post flashes. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The running Rebels trail by nine. On the outside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Shoots from outside. Nice shot. The Tigers lead by nine. Looking for a good shot. He's got an open look for the shot.
The students are off. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. It's that one. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They work it around the perimeter. They had a shot block. Not this time. Number 10 takes it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Penetrates and kicks back. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. You can end in four They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pressure that basketball. Set that screen away. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? A chance for two. Gets his first. charity strike. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number 10 has whistled for the foul. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Scorches the net. Gave it up. Step out on that screener. For the bucket, perfectly executed. On the inside. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now, my goodness. Nice high post screen. He strokes it. <laughs> Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He's money with a shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. <laughs> On 
on the outside. There's the pick. There's the roll. And they get the turnover. High post screen. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The running Rebels are down by 12. Working it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They're working around the perimeter. And his shot rejected. The ball goes out of play. Dick, emotions play such a big role, especially when you come in here and you're the favorite, and they haven't looked like the favorite tonight. It's looked the opposite, in fact. I'll tell you what, they got the lead because they really have stayed together. Even though they were faced with an uphill challenge by the underdog who came out and played with so much fire, they responded there, they got the lead, and now it's up to them to close it out by making great plays at the end. Perfectly executed. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. And he'll kick it back outside. Got the high pick. Drains it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great shot. Let's slow it down on the replay. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Entry pass in the paint. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. <laughs> Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Side. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. There's a double team right in there. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Oh. 
Dumps it in. Here's a double team. He lets it go. He's money with a shot. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. He shoots from left to the circle. Goes in. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They look like they're having a blast. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He hits the shot. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He intercepts it. Applying pressure, and he goes for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. From way outside, he gets the bucket. Let's see the replay. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Up, easy one. Jumped in front to take it away. He bombs from outside. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Working it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. The point guard gets the ball. Dump it inside. The center with the ball. He shoots from long range. UNLV are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Picks off the pass. The three. Oh, yes. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We're ready to get back to the action.
He launches a three. Sinks the shot. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Defense! 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 Intercepted. He goes with a jump hook. Off the mark with a shot. And the fans here are loving the action. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the arc. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Drains it from downtown. they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. On the outside. The center gets the pass. There's the trap. He puts it up at the horn. Off the rim and no good. Dick, looks like we're staying for a while. I'm not going anywhere. This is what it's all about, Mr. Messler. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. Dick, I don't know if this one caught you by surprise. It caught me by surprise. This wasn't even supposed to be a ball game, and now we're going to overtime. I'll tell you, Shock City, but you know what? It's the end of the dog. You don't want a moral victory. You want to close this baby out. The point guard takes the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. There's the pick. The power forward takes the feed. Ten on the shot clock. There's the screen up on top. Nice hops. What a high riser. He's the elevator man. Takes away the pass. They're working around the perimeter. going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Double team now. Bad angle. Trying to come up with a steal. And they do. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Scroll. For that reason, right there. That's why I love college basketball. It's electrifying in here. 
Here they come with a double team to stop it. He makes the shot. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. Up fake. Blocks the shot. Steals the pass. For two, UNLV are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. off the lazy pass. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Great defense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. There's the fake. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside, 10 on the shot clock. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the shot. Gave it up. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. He attempts the trifecta. He misses it. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock, Dick. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Shot clock is dead. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. He goes to the free throw line. No good. Pulls down the rebound. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Looking for a good shot. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Picked off. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He'll go to the line. Makes the foul shot. Makes 
takes the second shot. That's a very important possession. They got to score to stay alive. see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Rims out. Picked out of the air. This is the big time. He buries the long-range bomb. Princeton fails to come up victorious in this overtime matchup. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can't come away from this game with a moral victory. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.